today in the studio we have the new elite series 2 core xbox controller and that word core it's very important for microsoft products it means it's essentially a cheaper version of something this core version costs 130 dollars us it's a stripped down version of the regular elite series 2 controller which costs 180 dollars us so you're saving 50 dollars inside we have the elite series 2 wireless controller in white one interchangeable d-pad two interchangeable thumbsticks one USB-C cable and the thumbstick adjustment tool. So it's missing quite a few items and we'll go over those later on. It's compatible with pretty much every gaming device except PlayStation. So it's got all the main features of the regular Elite Series 2. I mean the controller body itself is the same, fully customizable. You can adjust the thumbstick tension, you can switch out the D-pad, the thumbsticks, all of which actually are sold separately and not included in the package. It works with the Xbox Accessories app for customization. It does have a rechargeable built-in battery and Microsoft actually claims about 40 hours of battery with this thing. It's got a place for those pedals on the back, but the pedals itself are sold separately. Let's break the seal and open it up. And here is the controller. I gotta say, I love the white finish, more so than the original black. Other than the controller, there's a charging cable and it's a pretty long one so you can play while you charge. Here's the thumbstick adjustment tool, a user manual and a safety guide and that's really it. Let's talk about what this package is missing. The biggest thing is the carrying case with the built-in charging dock. That was one of my favorites in the regular Elite 2 controller. It's also missing the four black pedals that go on the back. They include the two regular thumbsticks which are assembled of course with the controller but it's missing the extra four thumbsticks that come in the regular Elite bundle. It's also missing the standard D-pad. So you're saving $50 on your initial investment for this core package and if you do want to pick up those missing items Microsoft actually announced a complete component pack which will include everything that's missing it costs $59.99 US so an extra two dollars which isn't too bad I guess let's go back to the core controller which I prefer in the white finish it has a nice color contrast with the black grips the d-pad is silver and so is all the text on all the buttons it looks really clean on the front the back is also white it has the space for the sold separately pedals. Here's how it looks next to a standard Series X white controller. You can charge it with any USB-C cable. It does have a light indicator here. It blinks slowly when it's charging. A solid white light means it's fully charged and a solid red light means it's low battery. You're going to want to download the Xbox Accessories app to take full advantage of this controller. Lots of features to take advantage of and customize using this app. You can actually create different profiles here for the different games, different play styles. There's up to 250 you can save on the cloud and actually set three of those on this quick access button. You hold the quick access button to go back to the default settings and then there's the one light, two light, three lights for the three different profiles for quick access. I'm going to create a profile for Forza. I'll go ahead and adjust the left thumbstick tension with the adjustment tool. I want a bit of a heavy steering feel. I can remap the buttons if I want, set the dead zone on the triggers. My favorite feature though is having the ability to change the colors on the Xbox button. Lots of colors to choose from here. Orange, here's yellow, blue, red, purple, oh that looks good. This has to be the most customizable controller ever. It would be nice if somehow the grips can also be changed. I'm sure those will wear out over time and just stop feeling fresh. Maybe an idea for the next Elite Series 3 controller. Gaming with this controller is a treat. No wonder they've kept pretty much the same design for years. If it's not broken, if it's the best, don't change it. It is a little expensive, but if you can afford one, it's definitely worth the price. If you do wanna pick one up and support the channel at the same time, I'm dropping some Amazon links in the description, so check it out. For the rest of the video, I'm gonna show off a bit more gameplay here so you get to see this controller in action.